Hello, hello everyone. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day. I am incredibly excited today because we're gonna be opening up our first box of One Piece set for the Kingdoms of Intrigue. I cannot wait. There's a lot of awesome cards in this set, like the Doflamingo, the VV alternate art leaders, the Crocodile alternate art leader. I play Yellow Katakuri, so I'm definitely looking for the Alt Art Sanji, the Alt Art Gang Beige. Those are two cards that I'd love to add to my deck. And of course, of course, the main chase is the Manga Rare Sabo. I've never pulled a Manga Rare before, but I'm hoping. Can this case be the first time? If you want to see more One Piece openings as well, I will be opening a case on my channel as well, live streaming the whole thing. Well, 11 boxes of the case, because this is box one from it. I couldn't wait. I had to rip into one to start things off. I'm also curious, in the comments, let me know, have you been watching the One Piece live action? Did you watch it? And I'm curious to hear, what are your thoughts on it? Personally, I really enjoyed it. All right, we're gonna start off with the first pack here. We got Luffy on the front and we got Trafalgar Law. Can we start off with some first pack magic? There's also some pretty sweet alternate art cards of uh, special rarities in this. So last set, Pillars of Strength, they did the wanted posters and it looks like this set, they've come up with a new rarity type that looks really cool. Having a little trouble with the pack there, but we got Hanger from Logtown, Oimo and Kashi, Dellinger, Rabion, the weak do not have the right to choose how they die. Doflamingo's got so many crazy quotes. Otama, Idio, Machavise. So we got a lot of characters from the Dressrosa arc. Kajruden, Rebecca, leader card there. The Gum Gum Fire, gum, just Red Rock, not Fire. And the Bartolomeo. Very nice as our first two rare cards from our first pack there. No hit per se, but still a solid pack. And you know what? I don't know. Did I check? The last card, where's the... Huh, I didn't see a Dawn card. So interesting, I'm gonna have to pay attention, closer attention to that. Do all of the packs have Dawn cards or is that something that they switched up on this set? Charlotte Baba Royce, Chin Zhao, Tony Tony Chopper, that's a sweet Chopper artwork. Giola, weakness is an unforgivable sin. So we've also got Alabasta cards, Roki, Happiness Punch from the Alabasta arc. Diabla Jambe Joy Shot. I thought this card was a really cool card. I like that it can help remove blockers, but the fact that you have to use it as a counter and leave three Dawn up is a little bit of a handicap. Iceberg, Monkey D. Luffy. So there's the Luffy artwork that's on the pack art. Capone Gang Beige. Definitely looking for alt arts of the Gang Beige. Really good card here to add into the yellow if you play Katakuri. And it looks like, do we have something? Boom! Doflamingo! Secret rare alternate art in the second pack! Bang! That's a sick hit. You know what? That's the, that's the super rare. I'm sorry, I forgot. Rosinante is the secret rare. My apologies, my apologies. But still, a very sick card there. The Doflamingo. This is a really sweet card. The 10 Dawn Doflamingo. 10k and locks down your opponent's leader and character up to a total of three really really cool and i like that if you use this with the doflamingo leader then you can restand two of your dawn so it's not like you're completely tapping out to use the effect i need to grab some sleeves that was an awesome pull i'm curious what is your favorite villain organization in one piece i think personally i really enjoyed cypher pole cp9 might be my favorite like organization all around black maria tony tony chopper Ippon Matsu? Oh, this is... I was re-watching this episode the other night with Pokeballer Mike in the Discord. And very, very cool scene where Zoro, he drops his sword. A cursed sword. Not his sword, actually. It's a sword that Ippon Matsu has for sale. And he, he drops the cursed sword with his arm outstretched and it doesn't slice his arm off. So Ippon is so impressed that he decides to give Zoro the sword for free. And another really cool sword as well. Charlotte Parasparo. This is a good card that I'm planning on adding into Katakuri. I think Katakuri, I'm going to try and load up with the triggers and load up with the skillless vanilla card. It's going to remind me a little bit of a uh, skillless Goku. If anyone played that deck in Dragon Ball Super. Mr. Three, Galdino. Nefeltari, Vivi. Nice leader there. Heavenly Fire. A nice artwork featuring Jinbei. Always love seeing the Jinbei artworks. Shout out to Ruth Pokemon. And Kiros. 
Nice Kuros rare. And then behind it, the alternate Art Dawn. So it looks like not every pack is going to have a Dawn, but if you see one in the back, then it is going to be the alternate Art. So we've got Vivi saying goodbye to the Straw Hats. But if we ever see each other again, will you call me your shitmate? I know there was a lot of debate when the arc was was airing. People thought for sure Vivi was going to join the crew. They were really setting it up for it, but she ultimately did not. Curious. How do you feel about Vivi joining or not joining the Straw Hat crew? Would you like to see her be an official member, or are you happy with where her place in the story has ended up? Personally, I think I'm happy with, with where it's ended up, and I love all of the additions to the Straw Hat crew that, they, that we've gotten. Miss Golden Week, Marianne, Sanji, Kuro, Pound, we got Otama there, smiling, looking happy, Barrier, Bar Bartholomew using his Devil Fruit, Apis, Eric, ah, Eric the Whirlwind, Dragon Twister Demolition Breath, scary event there, Hera, we got one of the homies from the Big Mom Pirates, Cavendish, rare as well, and is this another, oh, I think this is, this has got to be a secret rare, we've got the Don Quixote Rosanante secret rare in the box, so the brothers, Don Quixote Do Flamingo and Don Quixote Rosanante in the same box. Very sweet there. I do know also that, at least in past sets, boxes that had a manga rare, they came in a box that was just one secret rare and one alternate art, and the manga rare came in place of the secret rare. So I don't think we're going to get a manga rare Sabo in this box, but maybe we can still hit it in the case. Mr. Two Bon Kure, Hajruden, Nefeltari Vivi, Capone Gang Badge, getting another one of the triggers there, and King. Really, really love the anime fight between King and Zoro. One of my favorite fights. And then we got a second alternate art on? Wait, what? I didn't even know that was possible. Wow, I've never had that happen before. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever had two alternate art dons in one box before? All right, next pack up. I'm curious. We haven't gotten a single super, just regular super rare yet. So maybe this will be the first pack. Charlotte, Tom, Nami, Toniyasu, Karita Coliseum, Miss Merry Christmas, Toko, Lao G, Mr. Three, Galdino. We got Miss Valentine, Makita, and there we go. Sanji super rare. That is one that I wanted for sure. And is that a Hayekin Serena artwork, illustrated artwork? It is. I really, really like the Hayek and Serena style. Reminds me almost of like an oil painting or something, but very, very cool, very unique style. A nice super rare. That's definitely one that I'm planning on adding to my Katakuri deck. All right, next we've got Orlombus, Karu, Rabion, Idio. Weakness is an unforgivable sin. Nefeltari Cobra. That's a nice Cobra artwork there. This is... I'm not going to get into it. Toka. Toko. Queen. Eric. Olin. And behind the Olin. A crocodile super rare there. Looking very, very dapper. Nice to see for Mr. Zero, the leader of Brokeworks. At one time, the hero of Alabasta, so people thought. <laughs> All right, we're past the halfway point of the box. Let's see if we can keep it going and get another hit. Oimo and Kashi. Daddy Masterson faced off against Usopp in Logtown. We got Pound, Nefeltari Cobra, Roki, Viola, Gats, Page One, Hera of the Homies, Treno, Bastardo, and behind it, show us a hit. Yeah, the Don Quixote Do Flamingo. So if you want to see it, what the regular super rare looks like, and then this is the alternate art for a comparison. And then you can also see above the SR, SR stands for super rare, there's a little star above it. That also tells you that it's an alternate art. That's something that they just started doing in this set. So people, if you're just opening up a box yourself, you can hopefully theoretically use that symbol to tell which cards are the alternate arts and which ones are not. See if we can get a buddy to join Doflamingo here. 
Miss Golden Week, Oimo and Kashi, Tony Tony Chopper, Caramel, Tony Yasu, Nefeltari Cobra, Don Quixote Family, Machavise, Nez Palm Cannon, Koza, Heavenly Fire, and a Sabo! Sabo Super Rare. Very nice. This is the card, Manga Rare, that we are looking for. The big chase of the set. Pretty cool card, the Sabo. And a pretty cool character in the series as well that I think is going to get even more of a focus. I'm really excited to see what Sabo gets up to next. Oh. All right, let's keep it going. <gasps> Struggling with this pack over here. <sighs> Don't want to damage the cards. All right. We got it. We rescued him. Karu. Tom. Kuro. Stasi. Don Quixote family. That's a great shot of the family there. Playgrounds. Idio. I'm hoping we can pull the Doflamingo leader altar because that's another one that's got a great shot of the family. Giats. Kinemon. Uh-oh. We got to get that one off the screen. Sugar. Speaking of the Don Quixote family, we've got Sugar. A very, very important member of the crew. With a very... Uh, an ability that is, is much crueler and dark than you would think, especially just based off of this picture. Don't let her fool you. Sugar's a monster. All right, two packs left in the box. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic and one of these last two. Ice Oni. Tony Tony Chopper. Daddy Masterson. Tom. Viola. Tony Asu, Trafalgar Law, Diablo Jambe Shot, we got Baby Five, Iceberg, Rare Senor Pink, Hyken Serena Illustration, and the Kaido. This Kaido Super Rare artwork is also very sick. Kaido in his hybrid form. Really, really cool artwork. And I actually, I like the alternate art that we got for Kaido in this set better than the one even in Romance Dawn, the first set. Last pack. Let's see if we can get something in the last pack. Magic? I think we can. Orlombus. Orlombus. Kung Fu Jugon. Ipanmatsu. Banana Gator. Yokozuna. The weak do not have the right to choose how they die. Randolph. I think this is another card that I'm probably going to add into the Katakuri. Maybe in spot of the Amato, since it should be searchable as a Big Mom Pirate card. Suleiman. Koza. Sasaki? Uncommon Frankie Rare. Yo, first time seeing the Frankie Rare. I love me some Frankie. Super! And then we got behind it a Super Rare Mrs. All Sunday. Very nice. Last pack magic getting Nico Robin, one of my favorite members of the Straw Hat crew. Awesome to see there. Well, right now she's Mrs. Mrs. All Sunday, but, you know, we know. We know. All right, let's do a recap of the hits. We got the alternate art, Doflamingo Super Rare is the big hit. We got the Don Quixote, Rosinante. Two alternate art, Don, which I'm curious if anyone else has, has seen that in any of their boxes. And then as far as Super Rares, we got the Sanji, Crocodile, Doflamingo, Sabo, Sugar, Kaido, and Mrs. All Sunday. So we did get seven Super Rares, which is the usual amount. We got two alternate art dons, which is more than we usually get. And we got one alternate art character, one alternate art secret rare. Very, very happy with the pulls overall. Getting both of the brothers of the Don Quixote family in the same box is super cool. And I definitely am excited to open up more of this set. I'll be doing an entire case opening live on the channel as well. So if you enjoyed the opening, I greatly appreciate it. If you could smash that like button, comment down below what was your favorite card from the opening. And if you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to the Manatee Nation. But most importantly, I hope everyone, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace out. Let's go.